This is Tina Frazier coming to you from Columbus, Ohio. It is Thursday, March 8th at approximately 10.30 p.m. Um, hi out there. I'm attempting a live video tonight just because I don't want to have to take the time to, um, you know, edit and upload. So I'm just kind of doing this live. So I apologize in advance for any mistakes that might be made or whatnot, but I am live. Um, I'm doing this kind of on my phone. Um, so you'll have to bear with me. I'm, my camera's down over here and, uh, so I may not look at, look at you the right way. Um, and I'm sorry for that. Let me get something that I can prop this up a little higher. I don't like that angle that it's at. And, uh, I would kind of have my, there we go. That's a little better. So I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I am... Doing okay. The last two weeks, week and a half or so, have been really kind of difficult for me. I hope you can hear this okay. Um, we've had some family health crises come up, and um, I found out last Wednesday that my job, as I know it, is going away. And um, so I'm going to be forced to do some different things now and uh, luckily I have 20 years of service in with the company as of February so that's pretty nice I'm sorry about the um the phone vibrating and making noise um I am doing this on my phone which is why it looks a little different um I have my lamp above me um so I'm sorry if it shakes a little bit more than normal but uh <laughs> anyway um, I hope that you guys are all doing well, um, because I have had kind of a rough week and a half, um, with the family health, health crises and everything going on right now, and the fact that I still have the potential of completely losing my job, um, it just it hasn't been a very good start to March, but anyway, um, I'm doing okay, and I've got some stash to show you guys, which is why I'm here. Um, hi to whoever uh, is watching and likes me. Hi out there. Um, I don't know who it is. I can't see anything streaming across the screen. Um, I am on my phone, so <laughs> you have to bear with me. Um, but anyway, I am, I am here, <laughs> um, and I have some new stuff to show you guys that I got. So I don't know if you remember from my first video that I had this Lori Birmingham design that I have been working on that has been a work in progress for over 10 years. And at some point in time, I lost the um, pattern for it. And I think I mentioned this in my last Blasty video, but I had found um, a lady on Stash Unload, the Cross Stitch Facebook group, that had the table runner pattern. Now I had the... Um, I had the bell pull kit. Um, I had the bell pull kit, and uh, the lady had the table runner pattern for sale. So I actually ended up buying the table runner pattern from her for my table for my bell pull kit. If you remember, this is what it looks like. I can get the glare off. Um, this is Joy to the World by Lori Birmingham. Joy to the World. Um, this was the Lori Birmingham bell pull kit. Um, the lady online had the Joy to the World Table Runner kit or pattern for sale, just the pattern, and it was a really good price. So I about fell out of my seat when I saw this online. This is this is the pattern. Um, yeah, Betty, losing a job really does stink. Thanks a lot. Um, I haven't necessarily lost the job. It's um, Definitely, I'll be doing something much different than I have been for four years, but there's still a chance that it may go away. Um, they're still kind of up in the air on whether or not they can place the 20 of us that are in my department in new jobs or not because there aren't jobs out there for us right now. Um, so, yeah, it really does stink. But um, we'll work through it, and we'll figure it out if the time does come. That just may mean I take a few months off and then look for something new, um, you know, when my severance kicks in. So we'll, we'll see. Um, it's going to be tough. but um, So anyway, here's the, um, the table runner pattern that I got. And um, the night that I got it, I was really happy. My husband finally brought it home from work. I actually got started stitching on it. Now, I took some pictures before of my progress. So I will post those probably either at the end of the video or right here. 
Uh, well, it's probably going to be at the end of the video or at a later time. But anyway, here's the progress on um, the Joy to the World. Um, I have since, since I got the new pattern, I have filled in the, um, the sleeve and done some of the mitten area right here. And then I started um, last night at the stitch stitch night at the, my local needle workshop. I started in on his beard. So I don't know if you can see. Um, there's the pattern again. But I filled in his arm and I'm working on his beard. So that's what, that's what you can see. I filled in his arm here and I'm working on the beard. And I'm working on the beard here. Um, I was, I'm really happy to get this, uh, to get this going. Again, um, hopefully, I'm hoping to finish this probably by the end of March if I get more stitching time to work on it. But I'm really happy to finally get this off of my, out of my whip pile and into my finished object pile. Um, I don't, I'm probably going to make it into a bell pole, but I still have to get the, there's a, um, a gingerbread man charm and some, uh, little teeny jingle bells and some other stuff that I need to pick up for this. But, um, yeah, I'm probably going to turn it into a bell pole because I still have the, um, sorry about that. Oh, sorry. My camera slipped. My phone slipped down. But, um, anyway, I was talking, I still have the bell pole hardware for it, um, for the Lori Birmingham design. Sorry about that. Um, my phone, my phone YouTube app stopped, <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. But anyway, so here's the bell pull hardware. Um, so I probably will use that, but I need to pick up beads and um, the charms for it that have since been lost as well. So that is that. I was really happy to get this in the mail. This was probably one of my best purchases so far this year was the uh, replacement pattern for my Glory Birmingham bell pull. Um, I see I have somebody else watching. Hope you're enjoying this. I decided to go live tonight so I wouldn't have to spend time uploading the video and wait. Um, the same lady that had, um, that had the Lori Birmingham design is selling, um, also some of her Diane Gravener, uh, Amish patterns online. I'm going to tilt, see if I can tilt this a little bit. Sorry about moving the camera on you guys. Um, so she had a couple that I didn't have. So I went ahead and purchased that. We have this one, which is called Christmas Eve. It's Diane Grabner. It's one of her Amish designs. I really like this with the um, Amish buggies going up the lane at Christmas time. And then this next one is one that I had before, but I had a stitchy bag that I had left in my car one, um, one weekend when I went to church, and our car was opened up. And somebody stole my stitchy bag out of it, thinking it was a purse. But this was a piece that I had originally started. Um, this one here. I really like this. The sheep are really cute. Sorry about the glare. Sorry about the glare. I'm trying to get the best angle. The sheep on this are really cute. Um, I turned the pattern around so I can't tell you the name. Let me see if I can get the pattern out. Um, the name of this pattern is... Um, Evening Feed. This is Evening Feed by Dan Diane Gravener. Um, I took the pattern out because I made a working copy of my, my pattern. Um, so hopefully I won't lose, uh, I won't, this won't get stolen again. But this is called Evening Feed. Um, I have some blue even weave fabric on hand that I'm going to use for this. Um, so this is the, the piece of blue even weave fabric that I have for it. Um, I had started this originally. I had, I had the, uh, the Amish lady done, the sheep that she's, uh, feeding, and then a couple of these other sheep done. I hadn't yet done the, um, the lantern and the, uh, shading underneath them when the pattern, when the bag got stolen, but, uh, that's, that's what happened. The bag got stolen out of our car, and this went with it. So I kind of got the replacement for this. This is, um, a piece that I'm hoping to start on the 18th. Um, next Saturday, a week from Saturday, uh, that is also my birthday, by the way, and, um, I'm looking to start this since the eight, there's a Stitch Mania, um, <laughs> Stitch Along thing, you know, starting a new project on the 18th, so this is, this is new, yes, but it's not necessarily new to me because I had it started once before, I just need to get started again, 
So, um, it's going to, this is going to be a new start for me on the 18th. Diane's, Diane Gravener's evening feed. Um, then, so, because I was dealing with the, um, the news of the health issues, the family health issues that are going on right now, um, with my mother-in-law in particular, um, and also the possibility of my job coming to an end, um, there was another lady on Stash and Load on Facebook. Um, oh, thank you, Teresa. It is a really cute pattern. Um, I like I like Diane Gravener's Amish patterns a lot. Um, there was a lady on the Stash and Load group on Facebook who was also selling some grime guards pretty inexpens inexpensively, and I happened to get two of hers. Um, I already put... Well, let me just take it off of here. Um... I got an 11 by 17 one because the one that I had on my Q-Snap that has my linen and threads mystery stitch along on it um, is really stretched and it was really tight. Um, so I ended up getting an 11 by 17 one that she had. I don't know if I can get this stretched out enough. But this one is gingerbreads. I really like this pattern. And actually there's a lot of shimmer. I don't know if you can see the shimmery of the, the fabric, maybe you can. But this one has gingerbreads all over it. I thought this was cute. Um, so I ordered this one. And the first one that caught my eye, though, was this 11 by 11 one that she had for 11 by 11 Q-snaps. And it's this butterfly, really spring, really pretty spring butterfly fabric. I fell in love with this. And um, so I ordered me two grime guards which is something that I actually kind of needed because I didn't have, I only had like two grime guards. I only had two grime guards and I have like four or five pieces going right now. Um, get a little bit of tea. I'm drinking um, Harney and Sons Holiday Tea. I think I picked up this tea at um, Barnes & Noble. Um, I'm drinking tea because I don't want to drink soda or anything tonight. Um, So I got the two patterns, um, or the three patterns actually, the two Diane Grabner and the um, Lori Birmingham, and then the two Grime Guards. Um, when I was at my local needlework shop last night, um, I picked up another 11, 11 by 11 Q-snap, because I have another, um, I got the new Q-snap, I put it together already, I got the new Q-snap for the Diane Grabner um, sheep one that I'm going to do, Evening Feed. Um, I'm going to start that on my birthday, so I'm going to... I got a new Q-Snap because, you know, I'm kind of pieced together the other three or four Q-Snaps I have going. Oh, excuse me. Goodness. Um, and uh, I'm going to use this for the um, Evening Feed Diane Grabner one when I start it into in a week and a half. Uh, on Sunday the 18th for... New whip. New start on the 18th. Um, I already showed you my Lori Birmingham that I made some progress on since I got the chart with filling in the sleeve. Um, I don't really have a whole lot else, except I did download a couple of online patterns um, fairly recently. Um, today, <laughs> I was kind of looking for something to do, so I was online. Um, my husband and I really like Japanese anime, and one of the one of the um, anime studios that we really like is Studio Ghibli, and they do. Um, Disney has the rights to some of their movies now, or most of their movies. So you might have heard of My Neighbor Totoro. Um, you might have heard of Princess Mononoke, um, Castle in the Sky, Howl's Moving Castle, uh, Spirited Away, um, some of these other movies like that. Um, there's people out there on Etsy that actually have produced some cross-stitch patterns. And I found this stained glass one. Um, there's actually a little teeny clear puzzle. Um, when I was at that anime convention this last year, there was this company, one of the vendors there, selling these little clear stained glass puzzles. And they're little teeny clear pieces. You can see the little puzzle. Let's flip this around so you can see what it looks like. This is the piece, this is the one that I got. And this is a Totoro. 
and you can see it's it looks like stained glass so it's clear when you take out the thing so you can hang it up in a window or something and it looks like stained glass well a lot of people are coming out with um stained glass cross stitch patterns now this is a little teeny one this is like a little five by seven photo frame style so this is a little one they have other bigger puzzles that you can get to but um this person online has a very similar pattern to a stained glass a totoro stained glass that i found and this one is um a totoro stained glass collage so this is the pattern that i just got and it's a cross stitch pattern that i got from etsy um i'm not exactly sure the etsy shop off the top of my head i can put that down in the comments below um later for you but i have this totoro stained glass pattern Presage pattern that I'm hoping to start. This might actually, if I can get the fabric for it, this might actually be um, another piece that I start around my birthday. Um, I just thought this was really cute. Has Totoro and the dust sprites and blue Totoro and white Totoro and then the cat bus. The cat bus is absolutely my favorite. I like the cat bus a lot. <laughs> So I got that one, and then um, a different seller also had another Totoro pattern. I'm not going to be, able, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to show you um, the picture of it because the the color picture didn't print. And uh, oh, it's over here. And uh, I don't know that I can show you the pattern, but it's basically like a Totoro silhouette with the little Totoro in the, the middle at the bottom, and then another little dust sprite type thing in the middle. And the Totoro is this, uh, has a turquoise background with red or uh, pink roses all through it. It's really, really pretty. I'm sorry for my camera readjusting. <laughs> I'm kind of, kind of doing this on my phone. Um, but anyway, the, uh, it's called Totoro Floral. And, um, it's actually really kind of nice. Um, I can probably show you, this is kind of the pattern of it way back here I don't know if you'll be able to get that but uh, yeah that's kind of what it looks like you would turn it turn it this way a little bit so you can kind of get an idea um, yeah that's kind of what the pattern looks like um, it's really cool I like Totoro um, so one of those might be my new start um, if I can get the fabric for it um, I don't know if I showed this last time on my, one of my last two videos, but I picked up this Noel Mill Hill Buttons and Bead Kit. Um, I'm kind of sort of doing the Mill Hill Monday Stitch Alongs. Um, and this is going to be another kit that I'm going to add. Hopefully I'll be able to finish the, one of the Santas that I have in, bead, in the beading process right now. And um, once those come get close to being done I might actually start on this this comes with green perforated paper it looks like it's gonna be really pretty so I'm looking forward to that and other than that I don't really have much much more of an update um, I'm still working on stitch Rovia let it snow um, so, sorry about that the um, stone hearth hutch um, pattern from the Just Cross Stitch magazine. I'm still working on that. I haven't really worked on my diamond paintings. I haven't really done a whole heck of a lot. Um, just because I've been a little depressed with the news from my in-laws and, um, you know, my job situation. So hopefully the job situation will iron itself out and I'll know a little bit more in a week or two. Um, there's a little bit of me that kind of hopes I get severance but there's a big part of me that really hopes that I, you know, stay working. Um, I could use the time off to take a little bit of a mental break and get some stuff done. But under the same, same note, I, I really don't want to go look for another job. I've been with the company 20 years, so, yeah. It, it'll be hard losing, like, four weeks of vacation and, you know, just the length of service and everything like that. But anyway, that's about it, you guys. I really don't have a whole lot else to talk about, really. Um, Survivor started last week. I didn't get a chance to watch last night's episode because I was at my local cross-stitch stitch night. Local needlework shop stitch night, sorry. Um, 
other than that, things are going good. We're playing board games. We're just kind of hanging out and having fun. Um, I'm just trying to keep my mind not really on being depressed about work or the lack thereof and um, just trying to keep focused. Um, yeah. Oh, my, you know, many of you know that I retired from roller derby also in January. I've been with the league 15 years. And um, so I haven't had to go to Wednesday scrimmage nights, which has been really nice because, you know, I have more time now. Um, oh, thank you, Betty. I hope stitching will help me with the depression, too. Um, I really, really, really kind of need to just, you know, get out of this little funk and, uh, you know, just enjoy myself. And I've been, I've been trying really hard, but sometimes, you know, even stitching, the motivation to stitch just isn't there. Um, you know, cause all I just kind of want to do is just like stare at a blank wall and just be like, <laughs> oh, it's not good either. Cause it just makes you more depressed because you don't get anything done. So yeah, it, it, it can kind of be really, really depressing. And, um, so yeah, we just, we just found out, um, my mother-in-law has terminal cancer and with her age and her doctors and, you know, some of the family have decided she's not seeking treatment. So, um, we're dealing with the fact that, uh, chances are very likely she's not going to make it to Halloween. So uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on with that. And to find that out like a day or two before I found out about my job, <laughs> I mean, it just seemed like, you know, somebody was kicking me when I was already down. So <laughs> it was, it's just been kind of, kind of a bad, like start to March, but I hope it gets better. Um, I do turn 47 next weekend, so that'll be, uh, that'll be there. That'll be good. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it'll be good. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so that's about it. I don't really have a whole lot going on. Um, except that, you know, college softball is about getting started, and I'm hopefully going to be going to a couple of uh, Ohio State softball games. I'm not a huge Ohio State fan. Um, just because there's so many crazy fans here in Columbus, I don't really need to be one. But I do like watching softball. I like watching softball better than I like watching baseball. It goes faster. Um, and probably because I played it for so long in junior high and high school and grade school. But um, so college softball is gearing up. And hopefully I'll be going to some games. I'll be definitely watching the Women's College World Series that comes towards the end of May and early June. Um, that's always a good time. I like watching that. Um, and I'll be watching Survivor, um, probably on Thursday nights when they air it on CBS.com because I'm usually not home on Wednesday nights to watch it live. Um, but other than trying not to, not to get into a depressing, a depression and a really bad funk about everything going on right now, I'm just, I'm just trying to plug along and it gets really hard at night to get motivated to even start working on something fun like stitching or, you know, my diamond painting or crochet or whatever it happens to be. It just gets really hard, you know? And, uh, yeah. So we have a lot going on and, uh, hopefully, hopefully, you know, things will, things will work out real well. Hopefully I won't, I won't have to necessarily change my job all that much. Um, I know they're, they have a couple of small projects that they want a couple of us to work on. And I've been put on one of those. That might only be a couple of day project. It may be a couple weeks, maybe a couple months. I don't know. But I'm just trying not to really think about it. I'm just trying to just show up and do some work and then go home. Because that's about all you can do at the end of the day. You know. But if there's nothing for you to do, I mean, there's nothing for you to do. And they really can't keep you around if... They don't have anything for you. So, it just really sucks. Anyway, so I think it's going on 25 minutes, maybe 26 or 27 by the time I actually say goodbye. But, yeah, I'm just, I think I'm just going to wrap it up for tonight. And um, I just wanted to thank those of you that are watching for watching. Um, I know it was kind of short and sweet tonight. I'll have to do a Stitch With Me video sometime soon. Um... Maybe if I do get my severance package, 
you know, I'll have some time during the day to actually get on here more often. And I may actually do like a daily thing um, if it comes to that. But uh, as of right now, I've just got to kind of try and stay positive and get out there and do some work. But uh, anyway, I think this, I'll call it, a, call it a night for tonight. And I will let you guys go. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have all the great things. Um, oh, well, thank you, Betty. I appreciate the birthday, the happy birthday wish. Um, I'm usually on at night on at night on Facebook too, so maybe I'll maybe I'll look you up. Or if you happen to see me somewhere and I post and you want to chat, feel free to you know ping me or something. That would be great. Um, but anyway, I just want to wish you guys um, a happy week. I just hope. Uh, my weekend goes okay. I hope my ne next week at work goes okay. I'm looking forward to my birthday weekend. Um, our local roller derby league, their home opener is on the 17th. So it's right before my birthday. And um, I'm actually going to the doubleheader. Um, it's my first doubleheader as a spectator probably in about six or eight years. Um, I used to work the games, um, you know, until I retired in January. So, uh, this will be fun to be able to sit and watch a game and have a beer and cheer on my league and see all my friends that I've been missing. Um, so it'll be fun. So that's sat next Saturday, the 17th. Then my, of course my birthday's on the 18th. So, um, I don't know if I'll see, uh, if I'll do another video before my birthday. It might be after my birthday so I can show you all the fun stuff that happened. Um, I don't know, but, uh, anyway, Happy stitching. <laughs> Get all the stash. Buy all the things. Stitch all the things and make all the pretties. And uh, keep your chin up because that's something I'm going to have to do in the next next short while. So um, keep your chin up and keep smiling. I wish you guys the best. Have a good week and I'll see you soon. Take care. Thanks, Teresa, for the birthday wish. And I'll hang in there as best I can. All right. Take care, you guys. Good night. I have to figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> there.